What's going on, guys? This is going to be my first video. Uh, I'm going to start doing some endless space videos here. Probably get a Let's Play going. Uh, new game that just came out. And for this video, what I would like to show you guys is the faction editor. Um, I know the wiki hasn't gotten a lot of attention yet, and so there's not a lot of information out there yet because it's so new. And uh, I've been looking up some of the faction information, and the faction editor, um, apparently not very many people have found it yet, or it hasn't been uh, very advertised. So I updated the wiki a little bit, and um, I'm going to show you how to do that here. If you go into your, where was I, your, this is your, like, new game, uh, if you click on the picture, uh, it'll give you the faction selection, so you can choose, you know, United Empire, or Horatio, Sowers, Cravers, whatever, you know, you've got your eight, uh, factions that they included with the game, and over here, I've got two factions that I made, I've got the Imperial Navy, I named them, and then I've got the XLR, I don't know why I named them the XLR, I just did. I have a small description for them. You've got their traits, and I'm going to explain how this works. Uh, so you got your add, modify, and delete buttons. If you're familiar with the game, it's similar to like creating a custom ship, basically. So you come over on over to add. So you've got your faction name. So, I don't know. We won't give it a name right now. Well, I guess we can do this, actually. We could give it the Sheridan Affinity. We'll, we will call them United Empire. We are going to call this faction Sheridan, or however you pronounce that. Uh, the Affinity, right here, this is actually uh, a big part of your... Uh, of your faction. You've got United Empire. Uh, each each faction has their own affinity. They have different, um, basically just a different trait. Uh, Amoeba starts with the whole map known. Pilgrims can evacuate star systems and so forth. Um, when you change this, it's going to change your faction, uh, your profile picture for your faction, and that's what will be displayed uh, in-game. And also, whichever affinity you choose is what kind of ships, the, the style of your ship. So if you choose the sower affinity, uh, your ships are going to all be based on the sower type ships. Or if you choose the, uh, the sofons, you'll have their picture and the ships will look like the sofon ships. Um, I really like the sofon style ships, but I am more of a combat person, so I changed theirs around. Uh, they have bonuses to um, support modules on ships and uh, scientific uh, research, depending on your tax rate. So I, I made them kind of a uh, technologically advanced um, combat group. Um, so over here, you've got your little description. You can type that up. Uh, 200 characters max. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, displayed in-game. Um over here you have your selected traits uh, mousing over gives you the uh, information on it you've also got a level here um, so the level of the trait so this has three levels so let's see let's go find a space battle so deadly weapons comes up right here your first level 12% uh, damage on max and minimum um, three levels and it costs five so if I click it once get a deadly weapons 12 percent max level one cost five here's our points down here so if I click it again it's gonna go to level two which is gonna cost ten points so it's gonna get rid of that first one it's just gonna bump it up uh, it's level two it costs ten uh, we have a 24 plus to both our max and min on our fleet weapons. As you can see, our point cap down here, our points have gone up. So we click that one more time. We've got level three, 36% uh, damage increase, and our points are maxed out right here. Um, the name that I have is invalid, so we cannot save. So we're gonna, now we can save. Um, so yeah, so each one has a points cost. 
Um, you only get 65 total points that you can put into your factions. And that prevents you from overpowering and selecting every single thing. And also, some of these are grayed out because of certain things. This is offense first, so minus 5% on our absorbing modules. Um, I have optimal optimal defense right here, so since I have this, it won't let me pick this because it would be counterproductive. And actually, uh, the optimal defense is 5 per level, where the negative version is only 3 per level. So it would actually be, I would be at a net balance of, you know, my, my defense modules would do the same amount of deflection, just like, without any trait, but I would be up, you know, a couple points that I just be wasted points basically. So then, uh, and then yeah, just clicking on it completely gets rid of it. It doesn't go down by a level. It just completely shoots it over. It's gone. You see our points are going down here. So we've got defense. Um, I'm not going to cover all of these in detail. It's um, you know you've got your defenses, kind of your ability to defend stars, feeble warriors, minus five defense on this system. Technology. Um, most of the, or I think all of the uh, included factions start out with two pre-research technologies. Um, I don't tend to give those to my factions. I guess I just would rather have, you know, like a permanent accuracy bonus or damage bonus or whatever, and then just use my research points to... Um, to, to research those technologies you know the very first technologies aren't that hard to research so I so far have not found that to be needed so yeah for the for the technology I haven't really used much of it um, it looks like you can get into your kind of your second I don't know all of like the uh, um, I don't know the what you know like all the technologies by name and which ones I need like I would in like civilization I'd know oh, I need this one first I have, haven't really played enough to know it but I think I think if you click on like I think this one needs hey it'll probably tell me so advanced machining S still need isotope fabrication and then it gives me this one so you can move up and get actually quite a bit of technology I mean you could uh, for a short-term game I suppose you could probably start out with a ton of technology and then like if you're doing a really short game I mean you could just kinda have like a sprint faction that would just have everything right away go out and just beat everybody up before anybody else can do anything really but long term you could get kind of in trouble there uh, anomaly this is your home planet you got uh, like metallic waters, uh, plus to industry and approval. Okay, your rings, money and science, dust load, rich soil. You've you've also got um, let's see, poor soil. You've got some negative anomalies. Um, where's terraform planet? Add the positive anomaly. So this one doesn't cost quite as much as like one of these does but you don't know what you're getting either so a little bit of a benefit there I mean you could get like rich soil which is only worth five here but eight here so I mean depending on your starting could be good you've got unlucky colonists negative anomaly you've got poor soil mineral poor um, there's generally more positive traits than uh, the negative traits I've found and the negative traits don't detract as much as the positive ones add um, like here, add minus 25% to healing, it's 5. Sloppy Sawbones, 25% added healing cost, it's only minus 3. So, you kind of have to take more negatives to get fewer positives, which, it makes sense. So this is your, just your, uh, your hero, and their effectiveness, basically. Then you've got fleet, you know, big fleets, that's the Craver. One of their things, they have uh, two points in that. Um, so you got an extra two command points. Strong allies. Uh, extra health on your ships. Wasted space. Minus tonnage. Uh, you've got your science. 
ability to um, do science, I suppose. Space cadets <laughs> limits your science, and then you get your scientists. And you've got tolerant. I haven't used this yet. Uh, permits colonization of all planet types with a FIDS malice until uh, required technology is known. So basically, you can colonize any any planet, but you have reduced um, FIDS output. Uh, second one is 25%. No, that's 40. If you, unless you're doing like a extreme, like economy based, not economy, population based, it probably wouldn't really be necessary. It, it's a lot. Economy, um, income, such and such, population. I mean, it's all pretty self explanatory. And if you mouse over everything in the game, Except for these ones, actually. It tells you what's going on. Space battle. Um, I use a lot of these. Diplomacy. Uh, I tend to use eternal war because you can't have peace with other nations. But you can have cold war, which isn't direct war. Um, I didn't think it... It wasn't as... I thought it was going to be worse. I thought everybody was going to be like at war with you all the time. But actually, uh, there's kind of a neutral state. So that, that one's not quite as bad. It's minus 10, which lets you add... Uh, can be quite a bit. So we're just gonna leave. Um, this that changes doesn't matter. And so yeah, then your uh, your traits come over here. And if you can see, like, um, I had I had level three in my traits. And so here I have three pluses. Um, I know. I think it's the amoeba. They have a lot of fairly small ones. Oh, that's one thing that I forgot to mention. Um, you get. Uh, let's see. For regular affinity, you get 65 points. But for the amoeba affinity, I think they're the, I'm pretty sure they're the only one I looked through it. They have 60 points only. And I think it's because of their affinity, they get to start with their whole map. And I think justifying that, they take down the point cap by 5, which isn't, isn't bad, I suppose. Um, it's basically one one level on a smaller uh, thing so it's, it's not bad their their trait is actually pretty nice for their affinity so, so yeah so that is uh, your creation your faction editor for endless space um, I don't I'm not sure if you can share those or not but uh, they're pretty simple pretty easy to work with and then you know I've got my Imperial Navy and only other thing is that uh, uh, computer players cannot use um, your own uh, your personal factions that you've made. Um, only you can use them. So, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.